Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the range spark module on your stove. The reason why you might have to do this is because you're not getting a spark to your igniters. For this repair, you'll need a quarter inch nut driver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the stove that we're going to be using for our demonstration. It's a Frigidaire, and keep in mind that ours might be a little bit different than what you've got at home, but the same techniques should still apply. The first thing you want to do is make sure you turn your gas off. So the first thing we're going to do is turn our stove around. Now we have to remove this lower panel. So to get that off, we've got five screws holding it on, one in each corner there, and then one up top in the middle. Now as we do this last screw here, I'm holding on to the bottom part of the panel. We don't have to undo this screw all the way, but I'm just going to give it a couple turns and the panel slides right out. So we can set the panel off to the side. So this right here is our range spark module. Before I take any of the wires out, I'm going to take a quick picture with my phone. And then that way I'll have something to reference when I put the wires back in. Alright, so now I want to start removing the wires and to do that we're just going to pull straight up on the wires. There you go. These are, some of them might be a little bit harder to get out, especially if it's the first time you ever had to replace these. The little crimps on these are pretty tight, so you can also use a pair of needle nose pliers if you can't get them out by hand. And I will just remove the rest of these as well. There we go. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement spark module. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. So now I'm going to start plugging everything back in. And I verified by looking at my phone that the red one goes in the front plug right here. And the white one goes back here. And our green grounding wire goes right here. And now, we'll plug all the white wires in. There we go. Right, now this wasn't originally clipped in when I took this apart, but it does go right there. There's a couple of notches and it clips on there nice and easy. So now we can put our back panel back on. All right, so now I'm gonna put the panel back in and now, I'm going to put the first screw in on this side. I don't want to tighten up that top screw yet, because I want to make sure all my other holes are lined up first. There we go. So we'll tighten up the top screw. And now we can turn our stove back around, plug everything back in, and your repair is complete. And now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, pcappliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.